video today, I'm going to walk you through how you can filter out your data set while working in Python. And so I'm going to be working with specific data that I've already brought in. And you can check out this tutorial above on how to actually bring in CSV and Excel files into Python. If you want access to this data or to this code, there will be a link below where you can access this. Um, and you can just copy and paste code in as you need to. So today I'm going to be focused on filtering the data within Python. So these are the data sets that we have. So we can see that this data set has an ID column, a weight column, a sex column, and a diet column. So if we want to be able to filter out by the sex, or the diet, or whether it's higher or lower of a certain weight, we want to be able to do all of that within Python. So let's first start filtering based on just sex. So let's see all of the mice that are female. Um, and let's write that code out. So you can see here, I have set my data fra frame name to DF. So you can see here, DF is equal to this uh, data that I read in from Excel. So I can call everything on DF. And since this is object oriented programming, instead of saying something like filter DF based on, you know, sex equals female, we don't really do that in Python as much. So the first thing that we want to do is actually generate the filtering values. So in this case, if we're going to filter based off female, what we're going to do is say DF, that's the data frame that we're using, and then we're going to say sex. So this is the column, and this is how we denote the column that we're working with is the data frame, the brackets, and then the column name with the um, apostrophes around them. So then we're going to set this equal to what we want. And we don't use a single equal signs because that is now setting um, up a variable. So that's saying for this, import this data in. Instead, we wanna use a double equal sign. This is going to set up a Boolean, which is going to deliver a true or false. Um, so we can put does sex equal female? And that's basically what this is asking. And then if we run this, what we're going to do is get a true where it does and a false where it doesn't. So now this is what we're filtering by. When we tell a data frame to pull, um, to filter by this, it will only pull the true values. So in this case, it would pull row zero, row one, and row five in, and you can see row zero and row one up here are female. So now let's, actually set this. So the way we're actually going to set this is actually to do DF equals, and then we want, or DF bracket, this is the input that we want it to give back. So we're, we're just going to paste this in here. So give me back at the data frame where this is true, is basically what we're saying here. So if we do shift enter, you can now see that all it gave me back all the female values here. Now, if we move on and just call DF again, it is going to give me back everything. We did not actually do anything to the data frame. All we did was get, let it pull the result of something. So if we want to be able to call this table easily without setting this up all the time, we then need to say like DF female equals. And so if we do that, it's not going to give us anything back. If we run our data frame again, we still get everything. But now if we run data frame female, we only get this filtering that was done here. So in this case, we know how to now filter by a single variable. But what happens if we want to filter by multiple variables? So we want to know where this is true and maybe where the diet is a Western diet or WD. We're going to come down here and we are going to do our DF again because we don't want to pull from this DF female because that only has, well, we could, we could do it two different ways. We're going to pull from DF female diet 
equals a Western diet. If we pull this, we get nothing because this bracket is in the wrong place. There we go. So now this is gonna give us another list of true or false. So now if we pass this into DF female, we're going to get um, the actual rows that are only female and Western diet. So this is a two-step process where you filter first by female and then filter by Western diet. But what if you wanna do it all at once? You want to immediately go from just the data frame that we have up here and only get back the female and Western diet mice. So we can easily do that. So what we're going to do is on the data frame itself, we want to pull back um, the date or the columns where the data frame sex is equal to female, which is what we did before, and where the data frame diet equals Western diet. So this right now will just give me an error if I try to run it. It's like, okay, I know what you want me to do here, but then you have this and I don't know how to do this. So instead what we need to do is be able to set these together so that it's only true when this and this is true. So what I'm first gonna do is put parentheses around these. And then I'm going to put my operator between. And so my operator is for it to say, run this and run this, and then evaluate it for if this is true and this is true, you equal true, or um, if this is true and this is false, you get a true or false. And that is basically what I want is an and. So I want it to ha have to have this is true and this is true for it to be a true. So now if I run this, you can see that I'm only getting trues where it is female and Western diet. So zero, one, five is true, 16 would be the next one. So now I'm generating the Boolean for this. If I wanted or, so it could either be a female or it could be Western diet, it just needs to be one of those two, I would then do this pipe operator here. And so what you're going to see is we have a lot more true because it could be male Western diet, female Western diet, or female normal diet to give a true. So the only falses we have here is if it's a male and normal diet. But I want to stick with the and, but I did want to let you know about the or. So now what we need to do is put this into a... Um, filtering on the actual database. So we're gonna say, give me back the data frame where this has been evaluated and is true. And now we get the exact same thing as if we did the two different steps and we can just do it all within this one step here. So this is really helpful if you're trying to filter by multiple things where you're setting equal to a certain text. But what happens if I wanted things that are greater or lower than a certain number? We can still do that as well. So for example, let's play with the weight now. So if we have the DF of weight and we want it to be greater than 100, we're now going to get that list of values back and I'm gonna go ahead and pass it into DF so that we can see that we're getting back all the weights that are greater than 100. Well, what if there's one that's actually equal to 100 and we want that as well? All we have to do is put that equal sign in and we now see that we can get this row 13 that is actually equal to 100 here. The other option we can do is less than or equal to 100. And so again, here we have one, two, three that are 100 and all of those that are below 100. And then finally, we have the same option we had above where we would only pull those equal to 100. So now we have the three that are equal to 100 in their way. So you're just basically using your less than, greater than, or equal to operators, and you can do that plus or minus this second equals. Um, so you can have less than or less than it and equal to. So what happens if we want 
those less than 100 and female. So we're gonna do the same system as before. The first thing we wanna do is put parentheses around what we're doing. We're going to, let's actually do less than 100 or female since we did and above. So we're gonna do a pipe operator and then we're going to set up our parentheses for our female um, test. So we're gonna do our DF, what data frame it's coming from, and then sex is our column. And then we're going to say equals equals female. And so now it's pulling back the females that are greater than 100 and the males that are below 100 and all females basically. So you have females below 100 and females above 100 in this because of this or. If we did the and here, you can see that now we only have females that are below 100. So this is, you know, a difference here and you can continue to stack these together as well. So if we did another and and said that it also needs to be the diet needs to equal, um, let's do Western diet. So this might be a way to like find outliers. In our case, Western diet would be high, um, higher weight. So if we have the weight is below 100 for females, but they're on Western diet, okay, maybe these are some of our outliers that didn't quite gain enough weight or something like that. It's a really easy way to be able to evaluate your data set for specific filters. And then of course we can set this equal to our filter data frame and then we can do anything we want. So we could pull df filter dot mean and it is going to pull the mean for the number. So the ID it says is a number, but basically the mean weight um, and we can actually specify the weight like this, so it only pulls the weight. If I would capitalize it, there we go. So we can see that the mean weight for female Western diet mice that is below 100 is um, 96. And if we took that from above the df.female, if we just wanna see our total um, df female weight, df.female, uh, weight dot mean. We can see that's 104. So that's just the basics of how to filter. And then you can, as long as you set your filtered database to a variable, you can do whatever you would like with this. You could also, just to let you know, if you didn't want to set this to a variable, we could call dot, um, we actually have to pull the right column and then call dot mean. And we're going to get out that exact same number. So you can always either set it to a variable and it's just easier if you're going to do a lot of things with this data to set it to a variable and then pull from that variable instead of having to write or copy paste this part out every single time. So I hope this was really helpful. If you um, have any questions about this or want access to this data, check out the link in the description below. It's going to actually give you um, all of this code and the data for you to be able to run it yourself. If you have any questions, comment them below or want different tutorials, you can comment those below as well. And I look forward to seeing you in the next videos where I walk through how to make data analytics easier for scientists and researchers.